Hey everybody, welcome back. This is conditional six for part three of module one. And we're gonna do a problem called or. So write a function called or. Given two Boolean expressions, or returns true or false, corresponding to the or operator. Notes, do not use the or operator. Use the not and the and operators. Now, this is one of those which is going to count on your ability to do Boolean logic. And if you can't do Boolean logic, that's okay. We're just gonna do it right here. So let's start with the initial expression, return expression one or expression two. Now, essentially what happens here is when you apply the not operator to make this end, you have to apply the not operator to both operands, to the entire expression, and then change this to end. Now it's like, why does that work? little bit more in-depth stuff on Boolean logic will help you realize why that's the case, but essentially that's all that happens. We change, so let's just back up real quick. So we had expression or expression one or expression two, and okay, that's command Y, we'll let you redo something. So we say not to the first expression, not to the second expression, not to the entire group of expressions, so like the quantity of the two expressions together, we apply the not operator to that, and finally we change the, <clears throat> excuse me, the or operator to an and operator. And then we put a semicolon. So, there you go. Not, not expression one and not expression two is the same as expression one or expression two. So, is even or are both seven? Write a function called is even or are both seven. Given two numbers, is either even or are both seven returns whether at least one of them is even or both of them are seven. So, this is a place where pseudocode uh, is gonna help us out a little bit. At least one of them is even. Both of them are seven. And we're gonna do an or combination. So, at least one of them is even. So we'll say at least one even is equal to num1 modulo 2 is equal to 0, which will tell us that num1 is even, or, and we'll write it out, num2 modulo 2 is equal to 0, and that'll tell us if num2 is even. So when we combine them both with the or operator, we can tell whether at least one of them is even. Next, we're going to do both are 7. And that's going to be an AND combination, because they both need to be seven. So we'll say if num1 is equal to seven, and num2 is equal to seven, is equivalent to seven. And then our if statement at the end is going to be, they're combined with OR. So that's gonna be if at least one is even, or both are seven. And if that's the case, we want to return true. And we're going to definitely, there we go, return true. Else, return false. And at this point, we're probably pretty confident that that's just this expression. This expression is true. We return true. If it's false, we return false. We could probably just return this expression directly. But either way, we'll run the tests, and we're in great shape. And that was just my leaving that complicated code up there just for a moment so people can have a look or pause it or do it slowly. I'm sure there's a way to get it done. So write a function called is either even and less than nine. Given two numbers is either even and less than nine, which is not an ideal name for the function as you'll see in a second, returns whether at least one of them is even and both of them are less than nine. So follow the same pattern. At least one of them is even. I believe that was either even. Okay, cool. So that's going to be the same thing from line three here, but we're going to write it out again down there, and I would advise you to do the same, mostly because the sooner you start typing these things out, the faster you're going to get. So at least one even is equal to two expressions, one or the other. First one is going to be num1 modulo 2. If that's equivalent to zero, we know that num1 is even. Or num2 modulus 2 equivalent to zero. That expression is going to be assigned to this value, which is then going to tell us if at least one of them is even. The second one is both of them 
are less than nine. So we'll say both less than nine is equal to two expressions, an and combination this time. We'll need one where num1 is less than nine and num2 is less than nine. So that tells us whether both are less than nine and then we this expression gets assigned to this variable which we can then use in the rest of the function. So we want both of them to be true. This is a combination of and. So we'll say if, and then we'll just write our entire if else statement. So if at least one is even and both are less than nine. If that's the case, we're going to return true. If that's not the case, we're going to return false. So there's our two expressions. We've assigned them each to a Boolean value. We call this a Boolean value because it's going to be true or false. So that gives us an easier way to construct line 7. You do want to figure that line 7 can be replaced with this going in place of this, and this entire expression going in place of this. Uh, I like to break it up like this, especially again for demonstrative purposes, but it's just starting to give you a hint of how many different ways there are to do problems like this. So let's run our tests, and we're good. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.